So I just finished my first 90 days in Raid Shadow Legends and today we're gonna take a look at my progress. And just before we get started, I wanna thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. More about how you can help support me by downloading the game for free later on. Another day in Raid Shadow Legends and we start off with having a brand new epic champion, Dark Athel. Let's see, 40% uh, chance of placing a decrease defense debuff. She does a decreased speed and also does an increased speed as well. So pretty decent champion as I see. If we raid her on Hell Hades, she comes out to be a 2.5. So not the best, but I guess I'll definitely take a free epic champion. So what have we done so far in the first 90 days of doing raid? Well, we've done a lot, but first and foremost, right? I obviously upgraded my mine and completely maxed that out. I still have only three slots open. I did not use the 300 gems uh, plus 300 more, so 600 gems to unlock these last two spots. I'm kind of saving my gems, to be honest with you, because as you can see, I don't have that many. This Monday, I'm going to continue with the missions, and we are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are at almost at part three of the, the first set of missions over here. Uh, once I have this one unlocked, I believe it's Monday, right? Yeah, it opens up. I believe it's Monday. Let me just double check that. But once I have that unlocked, yeah, it is Monday. I'll be able to continue. And as you can see over here, let me just click back in here. I got most of these missions already done. So I have a few more to go, but realistically speaking, as you can see, a lot of them are already done. So hopefully once I do that, we can progress a lot further. And for example, get all these goodies over here. Energy we got. Oh man, we got some tomes, we got some blue shards, we got a ton of stuff. I've been working on my faction guardians as much as I can, and in fact, a lot of them are already done. So there's one that I completely finished, and I want to show you that. Which one is that? I think it's demon spawn, right? Yeah, look at this. Demon spawns are almost, well, done for the rare champions. Now I have to work, of course, on the epics and the legendaries. <laughs> That's going to take a while. I've been doing a little bit of the great hall, as you can see right here, trying to upgrade most of these. In fact, accuracy is the next one. So can we upgrade it now? Let's see, how much do we need? 150. Uh, don't have enough to do this one yet. I don't have enough to do. I, I really need to focus more on these and make sure I get them done because obviously accuracy is a good thing. So we'll be working on those next. I've upgraded a ton of champions, as you can see. And since the 60 day mark, there's been a lot more that are upgraded. So. If you take a look, Chronicle Adeline upgraded and almost completely maxed out with the Masteries. The only thing I need to do really is this last soul, which I don't know when I'll be able to get the six star soul for her and probably play around to make sure that my artifacts are good. I did not spend any books on her because a lot of you have told me to save them. Also, Farrakh and the Fat, fully maxed out, same thing. Masteries are good. I already started awakening him, so hopefully I can get a couple of more souls over here to push him further. Skills, pretty much completely, not pretty much, they are maxed out. And the only other thing that I need to do is start working on his gear to get some, you know, better things on him to make sure that he's a lot more effective. Tree is completely maxed out. I was able to pull out a six star soul just by opening up uh, in the altar of souls, which was... Kind of amazing, to be honest with you. I made a whole video about it. I'll link it for you above if you want to see my reaction when I actually do it. But he is literally maxed out. Masteries are all good. Skills are maxed out. And the only thing that's left to do on Tree is to do his artifacts. Kale, the same thing. Just need to awaken him a few more times and work on his artifacts. Everything else is maxed out and completely done. I started working on Ninja. I do need to ascend him two more times over here, awaken him as much as I can, and get a couple of more of his skills up to par, but I'm on my way there. Masteries are done. You know, gotta work on some artifacts, but generally speaking, he's pretty good. I'm training a lot of champions for some food. As you can see right here, I have a ton of food to go because we're gonna be upgrading a new champion in the next video. But if you take a look at my reserve, at my vault over here, I got a ton more epic champions, right? I have Broadmoor, I have Hykatoon, I have a lot of them that I've been working on and trying to gear them up and get them ready. I don't know what my next champion is gonna be, but someone over here is getting five and a six star. I gotta just figure out who. But all in all, I have a, a good amount of epic champions. I wasn't super lucky. I did, of course, unlock 
a whole bunch of these. I used a ton of these uh, ancient shards and even some void shards and was a bit unlucky. Now, as you can see over here, I'm working on getting more ancient shards. I got five more voids since the last video of opening all of them. I got two primals and of course, six sacred shards that I'm still sort of saving. Oh, there it is actually. Wait a minute. I was saving it for this event. When is this over? There's one day left on this. Okay, in the next video, we're going to open these up and hopefully I get somebody good. Oh man, this is exciting. Let's take a look. Yeah, one, yay, 1% 1 chance of a mythical, but hey, you never know. I might be able to pull a mythical. In the next, in fact, I was going to do something else in the next video, but you know what we're doing? We're going to open these up and hopefully, for the love of everything that is holy, I really hope I get a mythical. And by the way, if you're enjoying this type of content and want to help support me make more Raid Shadow Legends videos for you, make sure to download the game for free using my link in the description or this QR code right here. If you do, you get a ton of loot and actually several epic champions to help you dominate in the beginning of the game. This works for both new and returning players as long as you create a new account. I absolutely love playing Raid Shadow Legends, but I'm definitely going to need your help to continue making these videos. So if you can, download the game for free using the link in the description or this QR code right here. If you do, you're an absolute legend. However, I've also been working on my fragments. As you can see right here, Archmage Helmuth, Helmuth, Helmuth. However you spell his last name or pronounce his last name, I'll talk more about him when we get to uh, the Doom Tower, but I've been collecting fragments for him. And the same thing with Drekstar. I've been collecting some fragments for this guy as well from the uh, Tag Arena. I'm working on my fusions. I got a ton more. Actually, if you take a look, I'm getting pretty close. Well, kind of close to uh, fusing this guy right here. I have a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Six more. If I can grab six more champions over here, I actually can't fuse anybody yet, right? But if I can grab six more, I'm able to, I will be able to fuse these guys and finally, eventually, fuse another legendary champion. Now, I've been kind of unlucky so far. If you take a look, I've used a ton of these ancients, probably like, I don't know, 60 or 70. I've used at least 10 or 15 of voids. I've actually opened up a primal. And I don't think I've actually opened any of the sacred charts, but long story short, out of all of that, I was only able to get two legendary champions and the only way I got them was for free, not actually from the shards. Chronicler Adlin and Ninja were given to me as a uh, login champions. So, so far, I haven't really been lucky enough to pull any rare, uh, any legendary champions from any of the shards. But one way or another, I'll get another legendary champion, whether it's from here or from fusion. Now I'm getting Oh, I'm just getting one one away from pulling this guy. One away. Who is this champion? I got to get this one. Spirit Host. So I got to run Durham Forest, I guess. I don't know if it matters if I'm running it on normal difficulty or like a Brutal or something like that. But I need to run this nonstop until I get this champion over here. Because once I do, I'm actually able to get these maxed out and get me a Relic Keeper which is going to be pretty exciting. I'm working on that. And of course, last but not least, Lady Mikage, Mikage, however you spell her or pronounce her name, I was able to get a few more. So we are still grinding towards this one right here. My first mythical, maybe like in 12 years or something like that, <laughs> once I'm able to get all of these, I will be able to fuse her, but I am really looking forward to that. Now, if we take a look at my progress in the main campaign missions, I was able to finish obviously everything on normal, hard and brutal. All of them are done. I was able to get all of the rewards and now I'm working on Nightmare. The problem with Nightmare is on level eight right here. I cannot get past the first stage at the moment. So I'm working on trying to get past the first stage and hopefully get myself one of those sacred shards that's right here. But so far, kind of failing on Nightmare. I probably need to do some more upgrading. Faction Wars is the bane of my existence. I still to this day cannot get enough champions to be able to do some of these Faction Wars. I would love to get this champion right here. You get a free legendary if you're able to get to 945 stars. But as you can see right here, like for example now, if you take a look, I really don't have enough champions to do some of these Faction Wars. So I kind of need to focus, I suppose, on getting more champions. I don't know. 
But again, see, one champion, really not that many. So at times I really can't participate in faction wars. Whenever I'm able to do it, I believe a few of these, I have some and I do it. But other than that, not enough champions to be able to participate in all of them and get to this beautiful legendary that's at the end of the road over here. If you take a look at my arena standings, that's what they are right here. I've been working kind of hard on making sure I do the classic arena as well as the tag arena. I have not participated in the live arena yet. I'm going to work on that next. Clan boss, I've done a lot of progress in clan boss. So if you look at the demon lord over here, when I first started, I wasn't really able to do uh, some of these, right? I was... My whole goal was to try to get to hard, but now I finally beat hard and I'm getting to brutal. And as you can see right here, two keys at 20 million for brutal is pretty good for me. I think at the 60 day mark, I wasn't able to get uh, to the fourth chest over here with even four keys. Now I'm able to do it with three, almost two. Take a look, another like million damage and I would be able to complete this with two keys. So what I normally do is I take my brutal, I use the three keys to get to the last chest, and then I also do it on hard. One key on hard allows me to get to the guardian chest as well. So I'm able to pull sort of like a bit more rewards from both brutal and hard so far. Just kind of a stark uh, difference between how I first started. I remember looking at normal and hard and being like, I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to get here. Now I'm on brutal. Look at me. I still absolutely get my behind kicked in Hydra. There is literally nothing I can do. I tried to do it on normal. I think I tried it this time, but if you take a look, <laughs> I mean, I get my behind kicked here. And if I pick some of my best champions over here, I could pull another rare from the vault uh, or maybe even an epic. And I still cannot get even close to beating Hydra, even on normal. So, so far, I think that might be a little too hard for me. However, I'm happy to report that I'm able to push pretty far. Well, kind of far in Doom Tower. I ran out of the keys. So normally I would get to about a level 29. I think this right here is where I fail before I could get to 31. So, so far in the first 90 days of doing this, I'm actually able to get to a level 30 uh, in Doom Tower, or floor 30, however you want to call it. And that's of course on normal. And back in the day, I mean, I remember I couldn't even get past level two. So not bad. Although I do know that I need to pick it up and try to get probably further because there's a lot more rewards I'm just leaving out there. I really would love to pick those up. Like for example, this little tome right here. <laughs> that would be nice. And I finally unlocked Curse City. Normal, eh, not bad. I can kind of try to get past level one, but so far I haven't been able to. However, on hard, I did get past level one and I'm promptly on, um, the second one over here. But again, because of how they're structured, um, sometimes I really can't get past these levels. So I'll try, but most likely this is end game content. I probably need a lot more champions. There are a lot more um, restrictions here for which kind of champions you can use. And because I don't have that many, I think this is pretty, uh, you know, pretty far from, from me. Although, when you do finally get to the end over here, you're able to get this mythical, which looks absolutely epic look at this dude what a badass I, I i want this champion so maybe in like 300 years whenever i can get to this over here i think this is where if you beat both of them you're able to get that champion i might be wrong or it's because you get the 500 of these yeah wow look at the rewards over here they look so good but for me at the moment i think it's just a dream and this new game mode siege to be honest with you i have absolutely no idea what i'm supposed to do here I probably should look into it, but I haven't really been participating in Siege. I'm doing okay in the events, although I've been kind of staying away from them and basically just making sure that I upgrade all of my food. As you can see right here, I have a ton of some five stars. I have a couple of four stars that are ready to be fives. I got a metric ton of four star food, some threes, some twos. I'm working on getting all of them upgraded so we can eventually get all of our new champions maxed out, maybe fuse somebody. I don't know, but I've been working really hard on making sure I have enough food to upgrade all of my champions to max level. So, so far I've made pretty good progress in Raid Shadow Legends for the first 90 days. If you have any suggestions for me, anything that you want to say, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. I read them all and take your advice very seriously. So if you want to help me progress even further, 
drop a comment down below. Thanks again, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.